Happy Thursday, Panthers. We're excited to bring you this week's sports updates. I'm Tyson Grimes. And I'm Jack Gurman. Let's hop right into the news. Our boys and girls soccer teams have both had successful weeks. All team levels went undefeated against Westlake on Tuesday with four wins and one tie collectively. Special shout out to our Frosh girls for winning 11 to zero. Earlier this week on Tuesday, our varsity girls basketball team played the Westlake Warriors here at home. Both teams in the first half had a fair start. In the second half, Westlake's offense got more aggressive and our defense fell short. The Warriors put up a good fight, but unfortunately, even with a great effort, our Panthers took a heartbreaking defeat with a final score of 28 to 75, placing them in fifth place in the Marmonte Basketball League. Girls basketball returns to take on the Thousand Oaks Lancers tonight for senior night here in the NPHS gym. You can catch JV play at 5.30 p.m. and varsity play at 7 p.m. for their senior night. Be sure to support our Panthers. You can find tickets for tonight's game at GoFan.co. Good luck, Panthers. Tonight, our girls' water polo team will be playing against the Westlake Warriors. If they win, they'll earn a spot in the CIF playoffs for Division Three. Be sure to go support our Panthers at TOHS at 5 p.m. One of our favorite teams at NPHS is our Sparkles Cheer Team, which is loved by our entire Newbury Park community. Earlier this year, Sienna, Sienna met and talked with Michael, a very special member of Sparkles. Being involved with high school sports usually only lasts four years for most students. However, for one graduate, Sparkles has brought him to NPHS for almost six years since he graduated. Uh, I love Kia. We will... Yeah, exactly. Michael's great. He's got so much like energy and happiness that he brings. He really helps like bring everyone together. He always likes to like add some spice and he just gets like along well with everyone. I like performance. Where do you perform? Where, ah, uh, basketball. Sparkles is a cheer team that kids that have special needs or disabilities are able to join. Basically, we cheer at basketball games and football games, and we cheer for the first two quarters and perform at halftime. Not only has Michael been a part of NPHS Sparkles for almost 10 years, but he also got the chance to acknowledge Sparkles around the country. Oh, yeah. That's me, Kia, and Diane. Is this the person who started Sparkles in Iowa? Yes. And did you give uh, her a certificate for starting it? Yep. Were you invited to a special dinner? Yep. Uh, pork ribs. Pork ribs? You ate pork ribs? Yep. If this hasn't already made you a fan of Michael, let him tell you some of his favorite films as he always found a way to bring them up. Toy Story, Hannah Montana, Hot Tub Time Machine, Hot Tub Time Machine, Barney, Toy Story 3. Michael's fun-loving personality brings spirit to the team. You can see Michael perform tonight at the girls' varsity basketball game at 7. Reporting for PTV, I'm Sienna Harris alongside Jelena Abbott Gonzalez. And now, here's Michael letting us know about some basketball controversy with today's Panther window. Hey Panthers, on Saturday, January 28th, the Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Boston Celtics in overtime with a score of 125-121. to However, many Lakers players, fans, and critics were quick to declare that the reason for the loss was due to a controversial no-call during the last second of regulation. With the game tied at 105 points each, Lakers forward LeBron James was attempting a game-winning layup, and replays appeared to show that he was fouled by Celtics forward Jason Tatum, as seen here. However, the referees did not see this, and the game was sent into overtime. Had a foul been called, the Lakers would have been awarded free throws, which could have resulted in a win for them. Understandably, many players and fans were furious, as many of them decided to express their frustration on and off the court about why the first 59 minutes and 59 seconds had absolutely no effect in determining the outcome of the game. One particularly hilarious incident is Lakers shooting guard Patrick Beverly coming out onto the court with a camera to show the referee the last play. Unfortunately, the only thing coming out of that was a technical foul. After the game, Lakers forward Anthony Davis told a pool reporter that referees should be fined for making bad calls. However, he did not comment on whether players should be fined for allowing their opponents to score 105 points against them in 60 minutes. On a good note to all this, both the NBA and the referees for that game admitted that the no call was incorrect. Now, back to the desk. Marmonte League Wrestling Finals for both our boys and girls will be at Westlake High School tomorrow at 3 p.m. With a day full of sports and school, we'll let you go for now. Good luck to our athletes. Have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you next week.